Hello there, this is Mrs. Burley, and I'm so excited to be with you this week to go over some of our new learning. This week, we have a really special theme. Our theme is how do we appreciate our planet? Maybe you've heard people using the word being green before. What does it mean to be green? So green is a nickname for when people care about the environment. An example of someone being green would be using these solar panels because these solar panels do not make as much pollution. This week, we are going to be writing our opinions. We're gonna be thinking about places and wild animals that we love and care about. We are going to be trying to write to persuade people. Can you make people agree with you and care as much as you do? You can share your worries about them and how you want to protect them. There's a free website that you could use to look up facts to help support your opinions. Kid Rex is the free website. So if I go to kidrex.org, I could go to the search and search anything that I'm thinking about. So if I think that the blue whales are endangered, I can type in blue whales. And then different websites will come up that will give me information about those blue whales that can help support my opinion writing. This week, Mrs. Besaw has a writing lesson for us. Her video is on a separate button that you can click on to watch it. Mrs. Besaw teaches us how to write an opinion writing. So if you need help remembering how to write a persuasive paragraph, Mrs. Besaw's lesson will give you ideas that you could write about. She also shows us how we could plan for our writing. So check out her video. So this week we are thinking about the planet's air, water, and land. So think about these questions. What land or creatures do you want to protect? What do you want to see change? Are there things we should invent to help pollution? What do you appreciate in the natural world? So after you plan the way that Mrs. Besaw showed us, we want to make sure that when we're writing that we're using lots of details, evidence to support our opinion. We want to make sure that we're writing in complete sentences and we want to be writing for at least 20 minutes a day. So you might end up working on the same piece for three or four days, or you might end up doing one persuasive paragraph each day this week. This might look familiar. This is uh, your science journal. You had this last week. So if you want to continue making observation scientists, go on ahead. You can print this slide, you can type on the slide, or you can just create your own journal on a separate piece of paper. Fluency this week is a little bit different. It has its own button on our ELA page. You will have a script to read. So it's kind of like a little play this week. We hope you have fun with the fluency. Reading. You can read your own books from home, or you could get onto my on this week. And if you want to support your learning with your reading this week, here are some words that you can search in Mayan. Conservation, green energy, pollution, endangered, and earth. Make sure you're reading for at least 20 minutes a day and you're reading with your own brains. Here is a copy of your reading journal. Remember, you can use your own piece of paper for your journal. Maybe you've already started like a little notebook for all of your journal observations, or you can type on this slide or print out the slide. But when we're reading, we wanna make sure that we're jotting down important things that we've read, some things that were surprising or maybe new to you. And also, it's important that we jot down any new vocabulary. So any expert words or fancy language that are being used in the books that you are reading. Earth Day is April 22nd. 
our earth is the only place we've got. So think about what can you do to clean up your little patch of land? Here are just a few ideas. You can help at home, help the community, help the environment, or help yourself. So one thing we could do to help our community is we could gather items to donate, maybe things that you no longer need. Are there any clothes or toys or books at home that you could donate? Maybe you could go out and rake the lawn for your neighbor. Help the environment. Could you pick up trash? Maybe put some gloves on, get a bag, and if you're going out for a little nature walk or walk around your yard or neighborhood, you could be collecting trash. Maybe some of us are planting new seeds this spring. And of course, turning off lights whenever we can, thinking about how we could use less power in our house. Maybe that's something I could try to write and convince my, my own family to do. Remember that you can use your own paper or the slides on the computer this week. We hope you enjoy all the activities and that you continue to appreciate our planet Earth.